brings us to Stained Glass Express, and we are excited to have Richard and Janet Parkers here, the founders and owners, to tell you a little bit more about everything they offer, the great classes, their retail shop, and everything. So I'll hand it over to them to tell you a little bit about everything they have. Good morning. Um, Stained Glass Express is now 31 years old, and we started when we were still with OMP Glass, and customers asked us if we would bring stained glass in. We did that and we had them in our o &P stores until it became difficult to manage that way and we bought a location in Waterville at Tenry World Square where we stayed for about 20 years and then moved here. So in this building we actually do three very different functions. One is where we're standing right now, this is what we call the Glass Academy, where we offer all kinds of classes. We offer all the basics of stained glass, fusing, mosaics, and glass blowing. We um, do it both as serious classes where you can learn how to do that so you, con you could continue to do it. We also offer what we call a fun night out where it's just um, a one night or possibly a one night and come back and pick it up. Um, then, um, and we'll walk through there, the retail store, which is glass, supplies, and gifts. And the third thing we do is we do restoration and custom work. There's a little window here that we're doing right now. This is a restoration for a church at 70 State Street in Augusta. We, we did 32 windows at Lithgow Public Library and there were some in there that were two feet square they had over 700 pieces of glass in it. So it was pretty meticulous. We also restored every window at the Mama Theater. So and we actually stocked two lines of glass that the manufacturers have been in business over 100 years, Kokomo and Wismark. Right. So when we are doing a restoration, we can go to those two manufacturers and pretty much get the same glass. We call this the inspiration wall, and this is things that have been made in classes or uh, customers have made and left here for whatever reason. So you can see the wide array of things. Your passion or why you started this business or what's your love for glass and... It's very fun. And um, of course it's so creative. Color everywhere. And then here's a bonus that we didn't realize for a while how many people come here to heal from something that I, I, it would take both my hands and more to tell you how many people have said this saved my life. The tile saw, we have lots of grinders, and then we have every kind of cutter available. You know, the, the big one is ours, but you know, they get their little kit with their stuff in it. And their saws, which is kind of a luxury. This is the kind of the prep room for the kilns where people are leaving the stuff they want us to fuse and they have these little sheets to tell us what to do with them. Like this one's done, it's ready, this one's been in the kiln and now it will get slumped into this mold and it'll be in the shape of a dish. And see like these things become those little dishes that are behind you. I think they're begging for M&Ms myself. So you can see all the shapes that you can do. So this is our kiln now. So this is also a great setup that we have. We really have five kilns. If we have something really little, we put it in there. We really are probably the best stock place, I want to say in the Northeast. And maybe further, maybe further, maybe until Midwest. There's one big competition in the Midwest, and I, I would say we're better stocked than anyone other than them. This is the inspiration kits where you can buy the kit to make something. If you want to make that witch, you could find the kit down here. You have to know how to do whatever it is. Have some kind of experience to yes. make it. Yep. And then that line is all just those bevels made up. We make all of this stuff. This is the hot glass area, which it, from the flame room that we were in, those are all the rods that you would use. 
We order glass at least every other week. And when I say we order glass, I'm talking two tons at a time. We really sell a lot of glass. Half of our business is done in this room and half of it is shipped out. We have every manufacturer except mouth blown. Once a month, we change the sale. And this is October sale. And we love having the full sheets up here. It just shows people how beautiful the whole sheet is. You know, it's one thing to look at, to look at that piece. It's another thing to look at it like that, you know, to see the whole thing. Some of it we make ourselves. Some of it we buy in from, um, I belong to a buying group that's out of Boston that, you know, gets artists from around the world. The blown glass stuff comes from a place called Kitra's, which is out of Canada, that we've been, we've bought from them for years. That's the glass balls. This room, we call the gallery. And this is all local artists. I don't own anything in there. Local artists bring it in and we give them a window. So this is all clear textured glass here, basically for cabinet use. This glass is being cut, in, cut order for Sitco. Sitco is a New England glass distributor located in Westbrook, Maine. And they have uh, 300 customers all over New England. And the customers, glass, glass shops basically, the customers will order a piece of glass and uh, Sitco orders it from us. We cut it to size, um, and this is an order that came in yesterday. So this will be wrapped, and, and then we put it down in the shipping area, and they come in during the night. They have access to a small bay in there. They come in, open it up, and load it on their truck, take it to Westbrook, and then redistribute it. So we, we virtually have glass going all over New England. So these are orders, these are orders that are are uh, packed from the front, picked up, and ready to go. Then Leslie will pack them, and then they'll go on to a cart here. So we ship 10 to 15 orders a day. Part of our retail store is a website. We were very fortunate that we already have a robust online store. In April, our sales did not change. They were just all online, and Richard and I were doing it alone. <laughs> I mean, we couldn't see anybody, we couldn't see our grandkids. We just came in here 10 hours a day, seven days a week, and we cranked out orders. Thank you for tuning in today for our Friday feature to learn more about Stained Glass Express. Hopefully you'll come check them out in Manchester. See ya.